Oh, we don't want to do all work and no play. We figured we'd take Ava's little boat. It's called Little Bird. Just in case the rudder pops off if we run aground. And uh, we thought we'd take it out sailing. We took a friend of hers. We did pretty good. We made it a little ways and then uh, we had done a repair on Ava's mast. It actually broke a little, um, a couple of years ago. We didn't do a good repair. We just kind of did a quick repair. So I think we should have probably done a little better. And uh, it ended up breaking actually while we were out sailing. So it's always an adventure. Um, we actually got another mast for it. We wanted to make a bigger mast. So we'll probably um, show a little bit of that for the little boat. Um, there's my painting. I painted that. It's actually a paint by numbers. But shh. that piece down there. This boat actually rose pretty good, man. The mast broke. <laughs> we didn't get very far, but that's alright. So I'll show you some before and afters of the paint that we did and some varnishing. Um, the through hole that we had to take out, and just some updates. Here we got the boat sanded down at 320, and we put a nice fresh coat of bare house paint on. Turned out pretty good for house paint. Being a wood boat, we can get away with using house paint. Here's the cabin sides all sanded down, ready for paint. Right now we have the boat tented, so work is stopped for a couple days until the tent is off. Varnish the countertops. And then there's a plank that we're replacing. I made a pattern piece and fit in. And then we're going to put the butt blocks in and get a nice piece of cypress. This is where some corrosion on the copper happened. Going through, tar is still dripping out of the copper. Which is a good thing. And there's the lead keel, which we're going to paint. It's bottom paint. Just got back from surfing, so I'm a little salty. Don't forget to check out my book, Accidental Sailor Girl on my website papersailor.com and uh, grab a copy for yourself. Thank you guys.